Hey everyone. Hi. Hello. Hi. So this is kind of a bit like S essay um ASMR since we are hi hi everyone thanks for joining me hey <laughs> hi thanks for joining me hello I'm also live on TikTok and Instagram so you can join me either one so we are going to manifest um tonight we're going to tap into the energy of the lionsgate portal and the new moon um this is the a powerful time to really get it together but i know um oftentimes either you may be feeling stuck or you, if you are someone like me who's diagnosed with ADHD, um, you're experiencing executive dysfunction when it even comes to starting a manifestation method. Have you ever bought like a journal? Um, of course, like I've bought journals. I even bought like the Law of Attraction journal and you know how it's so comprehensive and big and thick and you can like, I'm ready to create my dream life. And then it's like, to it. I can't even open the book. I can't even sit, I couldn't even like sit down to actually do this work. So that's honestly why I love hypnotherapy so much because it helps me activate any of my goals without me having to stick to a routine or method. But this method that we're going to do tonight is called the infinite man, um, subconscious manifestation method. And if you're interested, you can get the kit or if you've already gotten the free kit, it's linked in my bio. Um, you could download it to learn more. But tonight, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the manifestation process, the 10 steps to subconscious manifestation. And then we're going to together do the infinite subconscious manifestation method. So I'll act, I'll act as a body double for you to sit down and actually do this method. And it's similar to um, the 55 by 55, five by 55 or 33 by three method where you sit down and you write things, but there's just something different right before you do the actual writing down of your new reality statement. You're go the process that you're going to do as you're doing the writing. And so I know that once you do it tonight with me, you'll actually stick with it for the next seven days because it's eight days. But instead of focusing on one, one um, manifestation, you're gonna focus on the different areas of your life. And so that is how you create your dream reality. And so once you do that, once you tackle all these things in all the areas of your life, you you can let it go and then um, just watch everything fall into place and watch it fall into place at once. If you've ever, if you've been practicing um, intentional manifestation and you most likely might have um, manifested a goal or something, but you notice that like another area of your life suffers or you'll manifest something, you realize that you're actually not ready for the what you manifested, um, this method will help you prepare for what you're manifesting and also prepare all the other areas of your life for what you're manifesting. Because for example, like you could be manifesting an amazing job, but then it actually affects your relationships. Or you can be making more money but you're spending more time on working on your business. So this way, when you're able to have this alignment statement across all aspects of your life, 
then you you're creating this level of balance that's going to actually help you maintain momentum and alignment to actually receive your manifestation or and this is with goal setting as well if you if you're not someone that likes the word manifestation then think about goal setting it's really about staying focused and aligned until you hit your goal until your manifestation comes into place and then here's the 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 real secret you start to act from a place where your manifestation has already occurred and i know everyone says like act as a act as if all that stuff but it's kind of hard to act as if when you are feeling down or it's difficult to act as if if you are anxious or struggling so this process will help you get into that state and remember this that feeling that new feeling versus what you're currently feeling which is maybe stuck or dejected or anxious or depressed so this method that we're covering tonight will help you create alignment in all areas so i'm going to go through the steps of the method right and then together we'll we'll write everything down we'll write our new reality statement and you'll pick one area of your life that you want to write your new reality statement to shift tonight and if you have to go um that's fine because we'll upload this on youtube so you're going to use this replay to work through the rest of the seven days so I can't commit to eight days of 11 o'clock at night. Um, I live in New York, so I'm going out. But I'll commit to tonight, a Tuesday night for you. The sacrifice I'm making for you. I'm not out. I'm not out. I'm here with you manifesting. So you better appreciate it. No, um, I'm happy to be here. And I actually needed to create this... Um, this routine for alignment too, because I have some big goals. So let's get into it. I'm gonna actually share something so you can see it, just in case any of you haven't downloaded the guide yet, the free kit. I'm just gonna bring up the, the process here. So there's a checklist on link in my bio, or you can hop onto Instagram to see it. Hi, oh, awesome. <laughs> It's is it it's morning in Australia right now, right? Like early morning. Manifesting right before the the day begins. Awesome. All right, so <laughs> oh thank you for tapping in. Thank you for joining me. So the first step we're going to grab your Oh, it's afternoon. Okay, cool. Okay, one twenty-three. <laughs> oh, Wednesday. Look, look at you. We have someone in Australia talking to us from the future. I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right. So, if you weren't able to download and print the um, the kit, that's fine. Just grab a note, your journal, notebook, pen. All right. And so one thing that I talk about is the dimensions of you. Dimensions, oh, Idaho, hey, Idaho, cool. Everyone is, I'm so glad that you all are tapping in. So what we're gonna do is um, you're going to then think about the area that you wanna focus on first, because the next eight days, you're going to focus on one area per day. So the eight areas are money, emotional health, um, physical health. We have uh, financial health, material. We also have um, ancestral and 3D oppression based on your identity because a lot of people don't talk about how your identity 
really can affect how you manifest, what you manifest, how you manifest it, and how quickly it comes into your reality. Because of your identity, your identity creates this set of reality rules that you're currently experiencing now. And I and I had to I under I learned this as a black woman in the U.S. manifesting. A lot of the methods were not working for me, but as soon as I started to do this, everything fell into place. Hit seven figures in my business, got my dream apartment, meeting amazing people, having amazing clients, healing relationships with family members. All of a sudden, my like my um, my body is like it feels amazing. Like I was suffering from severe back pain. I got hit by a van in my twenties, and now like I'm able to bend over. I'm almost able to do splits. It's just like all all areas of my life are now aligned. So I'm not just like someone that has a business. And look, I'm no shade, but it's like I I just see people preaching and coaching and trying to share this information or trying to get you to purchase a course or a program and do all these things or trying to tell you to do things, but they're not living in integrity. So the source of that information, the sources of this advice, it doesn't really last long. It'll get you to a certain place. I really want you to take this free kit and create alignment in all areas of your life just so you can get your power back. You know, just so you can feel at, at peace, you know, that's that's really what I want for you all. And that's why I created this, because I have been where you are. And it's like just just a few years ago. And if you don't believe me, take go to my Instagram account, go to the last highlight and look at my break and you could see the difference, how different I looked, my energy, everything because I felt so powerless and I was so tired. It was, I was so tired. Like, yes, I had a home. Yes, I had food. Yes, I had friends. I had this and that, but I was tired. I was tired of living to the point where I did not want to anymore. So when I'm sharing this, these things with you, it's not superficial. I want you to truly take this time for yourself to take this process of healing and the reason why i talk about manifestations because i was so exhausted from doing so much i wanted some type of level of ease i needed to get my faith back and not really and it was really my faith in myself the faith that i was able to live a life that i actually wanted to live you know so when you do this process and you take the time to align the areas of your life, you'll feel so much more powerful and you'll start to see and you'll start to feel the shift and then you'll start to see these tiny little shifts in your life. And you're like, oh, maybe it isn't that bad. And then it gets better and then it gets even better and then even better, better even more better, better, better. <laughs> but it does get better. Like what, who you see here today is not who I always was and I'm not a magical fairy I'm not a five-dimensional being I'm not channeling anything I'm literally a girl from New Jersey that finally was sick and tired of being sick and tired and so I started to do research then I started to do more research then I started to test out things, think some things didn't work out, some things did. And so I compiled and I just kept collecting all the data, collecting all this information to finally get to something that works. So now I have about 111 techniques that I use for myself and for my clients to help them get to where they are now to where they actually wanna be. And so tonight what we're gonna do, we're gonna use one of those techniques. And that is the infinite subconscious manifestation method. And so the first thing that you do 
is pick one area of your life now. I'm so glad you're here as well. Pick one area of your life now. If, if you feel like everything is a disarray, you wish you could pick three, I want you to take a moment and ask yourself, which area of my life do I need to improve right now in order to feel freer, lighter, happier? And that's the area you'll start with now. Okay? All right, so you pick the area of your life. Now, what do you want in this area of your life? What do you actually want? You're not telling anyone. This is between you and you. So go ahead. Like, I know you want something big and it's okay. Pick it. Say what you want. Write, down, write it down if you don't want to say it out loud. Now, get clear and specific like you want more clients for your business what type of clients do you actually want for your business because you don't want any type of client trust me on that <laughs> someone who's been in business for a while you don't want any type of client if you're an introvert <laughs> you know if you're someone that's pretty laid back or if you're high energy you want high you know you want people that align with that what type of clients do you want? What type of romantic partner do you want? What type of home do you want? Even what type of baby? If you're trying, if you're someone that's trying to get pregnant, what type of baby do you want? So get get um, specific. Now, confirm. Now that you're specific, is it really what you want? What if I told you it would come tomorrow? Do you still want it? If you do, then you confirmed it. Okay. Next. Now we are going to just write, hand, write down. If I told you that what, you're, what you want is going, going to come tomorrow. What thoughts came to mind? Write, write them down. What negative beliefs came to mind? What negative thoughts came to mind? Write them down. Write them all down now. Any fears, any no ways, like write them all down. I said, what you want is, is coming tomorrow. How does that make you feel? What thoughts come to mind? What fears come to mind? Write it all down. Write it all down. And if you need prompts, like, I fear that, I don't think that if this were to happen, this would happen. I would love for this to happen, but those are some negative prompts. Because we always, they always tell us to focus on the good, but shadow work is actually pretty important because when you're too busy trying to focus on the good, that doesn't mean that these doubts and these fears aren't there. So you might as well bring these subconscious doubts, fears, and negative thoughts up to the surface, right? So that you can clear them. Because if you try to keep pushing them down, all of a sudden, it's gonna boop, pop up when you the worst times, the worst times. So it's better that you just bring them up now and clear them out, face them. So write them all down. And then I want you to take your pen and 
I want you to scribble, cross them out. Scribble, cross it out, cross it out, cross it out, cross it out, cross it out. Take the paper, rip it up into tiny, tiny pieces and you're free to burn them or you're free to just throw it in the, in the trash. So now that you've done that clearing, I want you to think about your environment and your, your current reality now. If you want this love, are you currently in a relationship that is keeping you from finding this love? If you want this particular type of client, are you posting and running a business or doing certain things within your business that would actually repel this type of client from coming to you? If you're trying to manifest um, a new apartment or home, then it's time for you to clean up your current place. Clean it up, get, rid of, get, get ready to move. Start organizing everything, what you're going to take with you, what you're going to give away, what you're going to start getting rid of those things now so that you are ready to move. So once you do that, then you are just going to take time to visualize. And if you can't visualize, what you can do is watch YouTube videos of someone that you connect with. They don't have to look like you, but you can see yourself in them that's living in the reality that you want to live. Or follow them on TikTok or Instagram. Just have a visual of them living the reality that you want to live. So this is if you have a tr if you have trouble visualizing. So then um, you but you can visualize yourself and then make it a very mundane visualization. You don't have to have like a heart player as you walk down the, the aisle in a wedding dress. Like you don't have to do all that. What you can do, what's actually better is you think about after the wedding, it's a Thursday morning and she, oh, thank you. You see your, your romantic partner opening the fridge and they, hi. And they look out and they say, do you want some juice? And you say, no, thanks. And you feel loved. Simple, mundane. It's like a Thursday morning. This is your reality. The key is to take your manifestation off a pedestal and make it as mundane and because it's your reality, right? You're living this life now. So why is it up here? Bring it down here. You can think of a Monday and you're actually excited that it's Monday. And, um, or you're just fine that it's Monday because you've been doing this for so long. It's Monday at 11 a.m. and you realize you have a client call and this client paid in full. And you're actually looking forward to this client call because they're not a toxic client because you've been attracting your dream clients. Or if you've been feeling poorly physically, like how I was, I was feeling, I was, I'll talk about my health in another video um, in the next thing, but my health was really poor. So I would start thinking of myself like jumping out of bed because I, for a while, I couldn't jump out of bed. And so, oh, thank you for the rose. Um, I couldn't jump out of bed. So I, Finally, I would picture myself jumping out of my bed and feeling okay about it. Like I wasn't like back flipping out of bed, but I just jumped out of my bed and it was just a normal thing now for me because I hadn't been able to do it for so long. So start, you can visualize yourself doing that and feeling like it's already happened, make it very mundane. 
or you can find someone on YouTube or find someone on social media or a movie of someone you see yourself in that's living the life that you want or that you will be living. Not that you want, that you will be living. And then we're going to write down our new reality statement. So remember how you picked one area of your life? So you're going to write down in my business or my health or my emotional, um, my emotional health, my relationship, um, my, my home is X. And complete fill in the blank. So that is your new reality statement for that area of your life. And so you're going to do this process for the seven other areas of your life to create your dream or desired reality in eight days. So that's the process. So now that you have this statement, make sure it's like one, just one sentence, because now we're going to write it down 88 times. And you're gonna do this for eight days for each area of your life. So then tomorrow you're gonna to pick another area and you're gonna create another reality statement for that area and write it down 88 times. And then you're gonna pick another, the next area and do it. Even if you feel like one area of your life is good, still do it for that, uh, that area because it could be better, right? So then you're going to take your reality, your new reality statement. And you're going to write it 88 times the same statement. And so when, once you finish that, for that area of your life, you're gonna let it go. You can tuck the paper in your um, lingerie drawer, your underwear drawer, um, in a box, a shoe box in your closet, or keep it within your journal. You're gonna let it go, you're gonna move on to the next area of your life. And so based on that reality statement, you're then going to start looking for nudges or expecting signs to take action. Because a lot of people, for me as someone that is neurodivergent, um, to ask me to sit and wait for the universe or sit and wait for my manifestation, I will literally rip out my braids. I will rip my braids gone. So <laughs> for me, after I've let, for me to let go of my manifestation, when I do manifestation, I need to start looking for clues to take action. So I'm gonna be like, oh, I should go live today. Oh, I should go to this bar tonight with my friend. Um, you know, sometimes when my friends act as the inspired action, they'll be like, oh, why don't you come out? Like. I don't know if, if this person has social media, but so one of my friends asked me to come out one night, for example, because I've been manifesting love. And so this friend asked me to come out and I wasn't really feel I didn't really feel like coming out. But I remember I just finished my manifestation method and I was looking for signs. So I said, oh, this must be one of the signs. So I went out with my friend and guess what happened? I met someone. And it's like, and they're and it's like the someone hits a lot of the marks that I put on my checklist when I was manifesting. So it's really important that after you write all this down and let it go, you start to look for the signs, start to look for inspired act and take inspired action. Look for signs to take and nudges to take action and take that action. 
And then once you take that action, you stay focused and prepared to receive your manifestation and be grateful and know that's already yours. So like with with love, right? Um, my I just had, I just moved, so my bedroom wasn't like really ready. So I was like, okay, so I'm gonna bring somebody in the bedroom that <laughs> it needs to be looking cute, right? So I bought new sheets. I started to I organized everything. I made it a whole vibe. So when I was ready to, so when I was ready to actually bring someone in the bedroom, it was done and it's ready, prepared. I don't have to be like, oh my god, like I need to clean my room. <laughs> You know that so it, it just prepare for your manifestation so now that we talked about it let's get to writing so i'll stay here with you as you do the writing oh my pen cap is over there that's gonna bother me all right but so let's write our statement and then we'll let it go and we'll end the live Should I put some music on? I should probably put some music on. I'm gonna put some music for us. Keep writing. You're doing great. I'm just getting us music. Keep writing. Writing your reality statement. Thank you. Hey, how are you doing? 
we're just um we're just manifesting together Still going, guys? All right, good. Me too. Next page. I'm on number 15. <laughs> 88 is a lot, but listen, we only have to do it for eight days and then we let it go, right? <laughs> Thank you. 
19? Okay, cool. Yay, keep going. <laughs> that's okay. If, if it resonates, you know, that's all that matters. Um, yeah, I do. Um, this is just, so this is just my manifestation journal, this right here. I got it on Amazon actually, so. Yeah, so this is my 2021 manifestation journal. But you don't actually, but you don't have to get one just for the process, but if, it, if it's something that, you know, get, gives you a boost of dopamine then that's fine too because sometimes I'll, I'll do that to get motivated oh you want to create one yeah yeah make one come on live um this was something that i just was inspired to do because of um the lionsgate portal and the new moon um so i wanted to just come on here to body double for anyone that had any trouble starting the manifestation method that um that you can get linked in my bio 
So I just wanted to kind of just help you get started. And so this way you would stick to it for the eight days. And then if you all want to maybe comment and maybe find an accountability partner on this live too, so you can stick to it for the next seven days, I definitely recommend doing that or doing it with a friend just for for eight days and hype, you know, hype each other up, get excited. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah, I know journaling for me is is actually a struggle. That's what um that's that's how I ended up discovering hypnosis and hypnotherapy because like I couldn't really stick to a manifestation routine or like a personal development. Ooh, you're at 50? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let me, I'm like I keep talking. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm so glad. Yeah, I struggle with journaling and so other, so many other things that people are suggesting that I do. That hypnotherapy is just awesome because I do it like um, once a month now that I've, I'm at where I am now mentally as a um, hypnotherapist. Yay, 43. Um, Instagram is doing the thing. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad you were able to catch it too. Oh, you found me through Manifestation Babes program? Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, um, I'm actually going to be doing something with Manifestation Babe again um, this fall for the next round. So hopefully you, I see you all there. Oh, yes. Um, if you download download the um, the free kit, it's linked in my bio. It says the Desired Reality Kit, and it breaks down the other categories for you, the other dimensions of you, so then you can just work through those. Okay? I'm glad you were able to catch it too. And yeah, so, oh, I need to finish my manifestation. <laughs> I'm manifesting too, y'all. Um, yeah, so so it's like, so this this is the perfect time to really do it. So I was like really inspired. Ooh, 70, okay. So we're writing our reality statements 88 times today. Oh, you're in sleep your way to 100K? Yes, oh, I'm so glad. Yeah, that was my first um, brain training program when I first became a hypnotherapist and I recorded it right after I was doing all this work, doing all this research, trying to find out what would work for my neurodivergent brain, something that I could focus on and just do and make make a dent in my reality. And then I hit um, six figures and I was like, I literally, and I said to myself, I slept my way to 100K. And that's the name of the program, Sleep Your Way to 100K. You listen to the hypnosis, right before bed and you listen to the nighttime subliminal overnight and it helps you stay in alignment and it's like you turn all of a sudden just like that your life is different and it's like you don't even recognize your old self like you're grateful to your old self for getting you to the place that you are now but it's like I wouldn't recognize myself from 2017 a completely different person Oh yes, yeah, li hi, yeah, no worries. It's linked in my bio and it's called the desire, manifest your desired reality in eight days or the um, the desired reality kit. Oh, you're, I'm so glad. Oh, you're welcome. Y'all, I'm on 28, I'm still at 20, <laughs> I keep talking. <laughs> Yeah, you can um, still get Sleep Your Way to 100K. It's linked in my bio as well. It's the, I believe the first link in my bio, you can still get Sleep Your Way to 100K. I will never retire that program. That program changed my life. And it's like, it, it's if anything, like that's if I ever, just, when my spirit leaves this plane, like that, that's my legacy. 
like that's my contribution to the collective because it's changed my life and thousands of other great like people that joined the program. I need to make an updated number of people that I have in my programs. I don't really like, I don't, I'm not really like, um, I have a, it's a business, but I'm not really like a business person where I'm like, I have this, 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 you know, it just feels awkward to me. <laughs> so it's like, if you want to be my client, sure, join me. <laughs> if you don't, then okay, <laughs> don't. <laughs> So I feel like the people that I attract to me or like they just make the decision to to join me, you know, they don't really think about the number of people I have in my program already. It's like because it's just like for them, it just feels right. Right. Yeah, it just feels right. If it feels right, then it feels right. Right. All right. I am on 29 now. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this at 1212 just to be you know my my spiritual branding self <laughs> This is actually the subliminal in um, the goal setting bundle. This is daytime subliminal that I play when I need to get work done. It helps me, it's like, it's like my deep work subliminal. So it just makes me just work for a good three hours, three to four hours straight. Maybe I'll start going live at night more. I'm a night owl, so this time is like perfect for me. I, I still, you see I have energy. Um, and it's like, I'm my focus, I'm more focused at night. Like I'm not all over the place because I actually stopped taking ADHD medication. So I am um, managing it. But I was on medication for a while, so it's not like I, so, but I do it now because my lifestyle get, gives me the opportunity to create a schedule and routines for myself. Yeah, 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 too much is going on. I'm, I'm thinking about meetings, I'm thinking about this, like the sun is out. So when it's nighttime, like I feel like I can focus on you more and I can actually answer your questions. Um, I get distracted when I do the afternoon lives. I'm actually going live again. Oh, whoops, you asked me when I go live. So I'm actually gonna go live again tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow afternoon. And, um, we're, but it's not gonna be a deep work session, deep manifestation session or body doubling. I'm talking about um, how to, how it's important to cut cords. So you can move forward in your business because a lot of people don't think about energy work when it comes to business but energy is everything right oh yeah so we have a lot of night owls on oh wow What number are you all on? Are you are you, you all doing it on TikTok too? What number are you all on?
77, 52. Oh, you're done. Okay. Yes. Perfect. 36. Okay, no worries. 67. Okay, okay. I'm going to cut the live at 12, 12. So I want to just give you all a little, a little bit of sound therapy so you can integrate what you've written so far. So okay, so I have two minutes to do it because I want to cut it off at 12, 12 for some reason. <laughs> ah. Not my iPad falling. Hi. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. All right, iPad. I need to get a this better like stand for you there we go hi tiktok all right so let's do some sound therapy just to integrate so now if you can if you can i want you to say your statement out loud as i'm as i'm drumming oh no it's okay no worries take your time but now you, you, the juices are flowing, right? So I want you to say your reality statement out loud. Oh yeah, if you feel called to sleep with it under your pillow, do it for, do it, sleep with it under your pillow. Or you could put it in your underwear drawer, you could put it in the closet, or you could keep it in the journal. Um, what, what feels right for you. All right, so as I drum, you're going to say your real, your new reality statement out loud. And you are going to feel it. it out loud and you felt it thank you so much for joining me tonight now I I'm sending you an energy ball to power up to supercharge your manifestation hope you receive it so finish writing your reality statement and then for the next seven days, focus on the other areas of your life and you will have created your desired reality. Whoa, why did my face move on TikTok like that? Whoa, am I, am I shifting into my desired reality? <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I will see you tomorrow afternoon, hopefully. I'm going live at 3, 3, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to talk about energetic cord cutting in business. Bye. Bye. You're so welcome. <laughs>